face eight year term limits after a close vote last night on a charter amendment. Fox 17 political reporter Paul Cicchini is here now with a look at the numbers and how sitting officials are reacting to these results. Paul. 51% said yes last night, about 49% no after more than 45,600 votes were cast. It's a result that means city commissioners and mayors can serve no more than two four year terms each. I didn't think it would get us anywhere different from where we are. First Ward Commissioner Walt Gutowski, like Mayor George Hartwell, didn't support the ballot proposal that term limited commissioners and the mayor. But he doesn't believe the new rules will change much either. We've always had some new faces and uh, maybe had new faces with some more stability in the past. When I, I came onto the commission, I, I knew nothing about city government, but I, I felt I had a, you know, a significant impact um, when I came on. City commissioners are limited to two terms of four years. It's the same situation for the mayor. While some are concerned a revolving door of civil servants could cause dysfunction, Gutowski says it's the people of Grand Rapids, not the commission, who should take credit for the city's successes. It's the people of Grand Rapids that voted for the income tax extension, you know, voted for the parks millage. Our backs were against the wall. What are you going to do? with with the economy the way it was. What is unique, at least for Commissioners Gutowski, Ruth Kelly, and Elias Lumpkins Jr., is that while they are term limited in their current roles, each has an opportunity to run for mayor, something Gutowski is considering. It's been the ultimate privilege in my life to represent the people that took care of me when I was a little boy. All right, now Gutowski says he'll sit down with his wife and decide whether running for mayor is still in the best interest of their marriage. And it's a decision that he expects to make probably sometime after the holidays. I mean, this caught a lot of people off guard. Yeah, obviously a uh, super close race. I actually got off the phone with uh, Commissioner Kelly a few minutes before we went on air. Yeah. And uh, she said she's gotten calls from several people today who said they're actually sorry that mm -hmm. this passed. Does, does this change any of the perspective that maybe the, uh, the mayor's position would change from just a symbolic position to somebody that's actually running the city? Uh, probably not. It's still really a tie-breaking vote if you think about it because there are six sitting commissioners and then you have your one mayor, so seven, you know, right. three, three split. If it Just comes to that. Just another vote on the commission. But the, one of the big things is when you take a look at the commission and all of these people who have been serving for several years, there's often consensus because they have worked together for long enough to find solutions and that's something that they're concerned about going forward yeah. because you don't have the same experience connection relationships relationships not just with the among city commissioners but with the staff that works in the city mm -hmm. and yeah. then of course the voters you only have so much time to build relationships yeah. in you know four or eight years all right great insight thanks for that paul